five years ago this evening. An EF4 tornado carved a 32 mile path through Douglas and Leavenworth counties before crossing into Missouri. I'm Bria Leff. And I'm John Holt. That tornado hit Linwood, Kansas hardest. 18 people hurt and the 170 mile per hour wind leveled homes and free state growers. Fox 4's Dave DeMarco live in Linwood tonight with a look at how the town is holding up five years on, Dave. And it looks like an almost entirely new neighborhood for the most part here along Linwood Road. But there are still signs of the damage of this devastating tornado here at Denny Roberts home. Take a look. This piece of wood that was sent flying still lodged in this trailer. That's actually the second time that an EF4 tornado ripped his life apart. Denny Roberts children were watching the weather closely May 28th, 2019. No doubt about it. This is the real deal. All right, real deal tornado on the ground doing damage. As tornado warnings were issued, they called their dad. In Linwood, please do this. It may save your life. So I got in the basement and sure glad I did. Hearing the EF4 tornado rip through his house above, he'd see our Fox 4 storm tracker Jeep at what was left at his neighbor's home moments later. I seen it on the news and, and when she drived up in the driveway, you know, I recognized Ron's house. And, uh, you know, I heard her holler. Linwood needs help, guys. They, they really, really need some help. This is the basement door where I was at. And I come around this door and I seen skylight. A mile wide tornado leveled homes around him. Brought down Robert's shop with his prized Clyde, a 1955 Ford F100, and badly damaged his home. Like a war zone, everything is destroyed. And I said, oh man, hopefully nobody died in this one. Robert's Kansas City, Kansas home was leveled by the 2003 series of tornadoes that killed two people, including his wife, Sherry. You want to ask why, you know, why, <laughs> you know, the second time. In the years since the Linwood tornado, he's watched new homes built from the ground up where tornado ravaged homes once stood. Meanwhile, at his house. You know, this was all gutted and ceiling was down and all that good stuff. And same way in there in the, you know, all the furniture and everything we had, of course, had to be thrown away. He's still rebuilding. We're in the process of cabinets now. He hopes to have the other half of his home finished by Thanksgiving after one of the most powerful storms in the Kansas City area's history. This is a tornado that may be packing winds of at least 150 miles an hour. Robert's thankful he got to hear his 55 Ford purr again. <laughs> eventually heard the silence after those roaring, howling winds. And Jesus on my side. Hey, I lived through it. That's what counts. This can be replaced. It's taken me quite a while, but it can be replaced. And as you mentioned, more than 30 miles. It wasn't just Linwood. I was in Eudora that night where there was similar damage. Also would then cover in the next few days, people were finding flower pots, photos, films all flew some 30 miles into the Northland. In the years since, John, everyone that I've spoke to just said they were amazed that no one was killed really giving all credit to the meteorologists tracking that storm cell. Quite a trip down memory lane for many on this fifth anniversary. Dave DeMarco in Linwood tonight. Dave, thanks.